Gunnar, you're here. Hello, we haven't heard from you for a while. How are you? Hello, yeah. young lady. You must have something amazing to tell us from the time we haven't heard from you last. Hi, hello, good evening. Well, um, I am experiencing uh, a lot of things in my yes life, and I had really a question to you. Well, it is about uh, narcissism. I think uh, these reptilians, you know, when we inc incarnate, they are wiping out stuff from humans. Uh, they are playing with our genetics or something because those people, they don't, they lack empathy. They are very different kind of human beings, and uh, they are very mean. Um, do you know something about that? Are they doing something on the other side? No, not the other side. But when we incarnate. Yes, constantly. And they're constantly doing things to you while you're here, too. Uh, if you're not paying attention, just like everything that's happening with the, uh, you know, the uh, Wi-Fi, the chemtrails, uh, the subliminals and advertising TV, they're constantly bombarding. And on the real side, yeah, they use the other planets, they use other dimensions, uh, etc. Oh, it's constant. And so this is a real battlefield. Uh, this is a real test to get through. There's no la-la land here. Uh, you can have a sweet time here, but good luck. Uh, that's the Maya that we used to uh, be familiar with, etc. And so, again, uh, most things, because we most people don't know any better, it all pertains to their personal self. But there's a much bigger picture. And, yes, this is taking place. And as you learn about it, just like, you know, the 5G and et cetera coming up, well, you have to deal with it. And how you deal with it, that's up to you. In other words, it's not that you agree with it, but you still have to deal with it while you're here. And that's the challenge. And so, uh, you know, our focus, the focus of this, uh, why I came in to do this with Paul, is, is that uh, it's about getting beyond creation. And so, uh, yeah, there's these influences all over the place, and they're constantly uh, doing things, and uh, just like the virus, etc. It's a diversion, uh, and because they're doing other things, because it puts people's attention on there, and especially from the real side, uh, the lower astral realm where they tap line you so that you don't notice them tap lining you. So it is constant. So, uh, you know, the guides can only uh, do what they do. They don't do everything for you. And lots of times they will leave the tap lines in you. Uh, I've seen this before. People beg to take them out. But, you know, the thing is, is that uh, you got to earn that. Yeah. You got to earn that right. And so uh, it's not about any of the systems here. None of these things really work. They're all La La Land stuff. Uh, there's a realness and uh Right now, that's the new nowness. It's the new you. Everything else is in creation, and uh, people can have fun with it, but guess what? You're just going in future lifetimes. Uh, there's a real focus, and life's about waking up to the allness that it is, not just sound good stories and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're being affected all the time. I have to deal with it. I see it, too. I see people come and go. Uh, they've got their own ideas, and it's their personal self first. Until you put the whole of life first, until you learn to see it and recognize it for what it is, and this is not creation, you will be the effect of things here. That's how it is. And the real guides in life itself can only back you according to, to your intent and how you see that and recognize it, and it recognizes that you recognize it or not. So that's the challenge that each one of us has. And usually we're more so, uh, you know, lingering with our emotional body and ideas and old stories that sound good, uh, that are cuddly and cozy. Guess what? That ain't going to do it. Not at all, because life is like the sun shining. It's very real. You don't see happiness or healing or, you know, belief or any of these things with the sun shining. There's a, there's a more realness to life that you need to recognize and so that's where the new you comes in uh the guides are there but they can't do it for you you make the choice with your personal life and yes yes we're all being affected and we each on our own have to figure it out and the spiritual paths and all that with their masters and gurus what they do is they want people to believe 
that they will be taken care of. And they will, but they won't go anywhere until you can do it yourself. You're not going anywhere. So that's what the new presentation is all about, showing you how to be self-sufficient and beyond all creation. Yes, and Paul and Rebus are in the real guides are there, but they can only back you when you get real too. So yes, it is a challenge, Gunnar. And yes, the whole world is is affected in so many different ways. And for the most part, they're taking in all the effects of everything that's going on. And they don't see below the surface world. They just see their attitudes and their likes and dislikes here and all this stuff. And that's not it. Paul was the first step. He babied everybody. He even used the color baby blue. Okay? Because he was the babysitter. Okay? So... Uh, there are so many hints, but people don't get it because they want their personal self. They want to feel comfortable. Well, you know, things are happening in this realm, and you've decided, and unconsciously too, to stick it out here, your choice. Yeah. So, yes, sweetie, uh, the new you, and uh, you become aware of this. And this is the idea, just like a soldier. You know, you go through the boot camp, and that's what creation is. And then you decide, when you decide to stand real with the allness, life is the all is, okay? And that comes first. Uh, then you're going to step into real freedom. But you have to earn that. you got to figure that out. So in the meantime, we all have to deal with it. So do I. Mm -hmm.